All right. Onwards to Hotland. Which I'm sure King Asgore named himself, as I mentioned before. Anyway. I better bring the rest of my nice creams. And the sea tea. Alright, let's go. We'll just skip ahead to where we... We'll just skip ahead to the Hotland entrance, so I'll meet you guys back there. Alright guys, here we are, back at Hotland. Uh, who the fricky are you? Okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from the waterfall to get a drink. Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. What? Okay. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Mm. Um, I think I'll go down first. Uh, hello? Tra la la, I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Uh, sure. Where will we go today? Oh, you can take me back. Then we're off. Tra la la, the waters are wild today. That's bad luck. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Um, yeah. I kind of want to go back to Hotland. Then we're off. Tra la la. Temi Village. The room before the Darkening Lantern Room. Yeah, I already found Tebby Village by pure luck, to be quite honest. Come again sometime. Tra la la la. Sorry. Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll be doing our best, Miss Undyne. Okay, well... Guess to the lab we go. That 
me. It's you? It's too dark to see near the walls. God. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um... Oh, this sounds like something out of Paper Mario. Um, uh, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my council. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, it built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti-human anti combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a first for human blood- Aw, oh, jeez, man! <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Something tells me we're gonna run into him. Huh? Oh no. Did you hear something? Um... Dr. Alphys? Oh no. Oh yes! Welcome, beauties! To today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestants! Um... Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die! Um... Metaton attacks. Oh, jeez. Um... <laughs> I can cry? Check. Oh, jeez, fucking Christ. His, me his metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the price for answering correctly? Um... Ha, you wish wrong! The quiz show continues. Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? Correct! What a terrific answer! Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Too easy for you, huh? Here's another easy one for you! Thanks, Alphys! Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? <laughs> I would die if Dr. Alphys was not there. Seriously. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? Frogget! What? But can you get this one? 
Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah. <laughs> How is his face, though? Here's a simple one. How many letters are in the name Metaton? See. Of course that was easy for you. Um... Something. We drink the speed. Yes. Time to break out the big guns. In a day. Oh, oh, I know this one. This it's snail ice cream. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You are helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Undyne? See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she crawls named the margins of her notebooks. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Well, probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just a pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Well, that was certainly something. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Wait, wait! Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Well, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Um, here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> um, I'm going to the bathroom. Um, it's a bag of dog food. It's half full. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Sure. You got the instant noodles. How much HP can I get out of this? Heals HP. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. It's a bathroom sign. It's upstairs. Ooh, books. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book, it's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They're all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. Well, okay then. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Pink droop. Um. Looks like Alphys' work table. Seems dusty. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats. And a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. It's a lamp with... The pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy-to-draw box. Jeez. 
It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Dr. Elphis? Mm, where could she be? Is she not here anymore? Well, at least I have more places to store items now. Anyway. I guess I should just go to the other side then, huh? It's a beat-up figurine of a female human with cat ears. Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne... Undine fight with the human. Aww. Well, I know she's unbeatable, and I'll ask her about it later. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Uh. Vulcan strokes in. Aww, it's kinda cute! Mistakenly believes it's lava that can heal people. Oh no. I'll help healing magmas. Oh no. Oh no. Please. No healing magmas. No healing magmas. Hug. You give Vulcan a hug. It warms your heart. And your whole body. Ouch. Your defense drops. So lovey. Oh no. Mercy. Gonna call them in a minute. sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. I hate using the phone. I don't want to... Use the phone. I don't know... <laughs> I don't want to do this, LMAO. Oh, no. Tsundere plane gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. Oh, Jesus. Tsundere plane. Seems mean, but does it secretly like you? <laughs> no way! Why would I like you? Oh, jeez. Flirt. You tell the scenery plane that it has cute winglets. Huh? You sicko! <laughs> oh, god. What even is this man? The scenery plane accidentally bumps you with its wing. You get close to Tsundere Plane, but not too close. Eh, he human? Is this plane actually blushing? What the fuck? <laughs> you tell Tsundere Plane it has nice turbines. Huh, you sicko. <laughs> Approach. You get close to Stingray Plane, but not too close. Eh? I have no idea what just happened. I need to use more ice cream. Ooh, nice. Oh my god, I've got... I had my claw over the last... OMG, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. 
Ring. Click? Whoever was calling you hung up before you answered it. Oh, jeez. Uh, hi, so, the blue lasers. Uh, I mean, Alpha's here. Hi, the blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving, and they, um, they don't, won't, um, move through those ones. Uh, bye! I'm guessing I have to move through the orange ones. First, I'm gonna do some exploring. Oh, seriously? Um... Pyro bounds towards you. Toby, I see what you did there. <laughs> You invite Pyro to hang out. Sorry, I'm all tied up. Pyro is chuckling through its teeth. You crank up the thermostat. Pyro begins to get excited. Hot, hot, hotter, hotter! You crank up the thermostat, it's super hot. Oh no. The room is sweltering. Spare, you won. Oh jeez. What's this? There's a frying pan hanging on the ground. Will you take it? Yes. Got the burnt pan. It will. Burnt pan weapon. Hmm. I better equip that then. So I guess I'm done here. Oh my god, I did it! Laws haven't shipped like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Wait, there's no weather down here! Why did she call me? God, I forgot to tell them where to go. Cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery fl filters all over it. Jeez. Uh, Alpha's here. Uh, the, the Northern Dawn will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I, I think you should go to the right first. Alright. You're the boss. Let's go. Uh, hello. The way to work is blocked, so I had time to catch Meditant's show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. Meditant? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. I wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle. But I kept running out of ammo, and it kept restarting? And my two co-workers won't help? It's like they don't even want to go to work. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission.
congratulations. Yay. All right. Ring, ring. Alpha's here. Th that blue laser seems totally impassable. But as a royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the Hotland Laser Database and take it out. Sweet. Thank you. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. Hello. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can, well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. Oh, God. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Nice. I did it. Whatever, I'll just explain it. Uh, I think, um... Hey! About the puzzles on the left and right, they're a bit difficult to explain, but... Uh, you already solved them? Awesome! 